Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Rhea and today I am bringing you another sponsored post. Today our sponsor is Frozen, which is a 3D printing company based in Taiwan that have sent me the Frozen Sonic Mini to test out as well as showcase to you guys. Alright, so the first piece that I'm going to open up today is the resin. I don't really know what kind of resin they sent me, what it looks like, all that, but it came in a separate little box and I'm wondering if this is their resin. But we're going to open this up and see what's inside. Ugh. Ooh. Okay. Let's see, opening this up, what I'm seeing. Okay, there's some wrapping paper. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to unwrap this. They come in little baggies to make sure that the resin, if it spills out, then it won't get everywhere. They bubble wrapped it too. They sent it to me last week and it got here within a week. It was a pretty good timing when you think about it. Coming from Taiwan, it was sent through FedEx as well. So FedEx took pretty good care of it and they also confirmed who my identity before giving it to me, which was great. I did receive two of these, but I'm gonna show you guys one. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's cold, but it's been out in the cold. So this is actually the frozen resin in aqua green. Volume, they get 500 grams per bottle and the way to rinse clean with alcohol spray with an air gun. So that's probably after the resin pieces cure, we're going to clean with alcohol spray with an air gun and I'll probably get that as well. I have to go to the store and get some of that. But do not mix used and non-used resin together. Do not eat the resin. Avoid exposure to sunlight and indoor luminescence. Uh, suggest to use our resins and printers indoor under ventilated situation. So this printer is going to be going downstairs in my office so it's really ventilated and it's away from everybody so I don't really have to worry about too many issues and no one stays in there. Alright. Oh, they're both aqua green. Okay, so I have two aqua green colors that are resin. They are both 500 grams. And like I said before, we're going to clean this with alcohol spray and an air gun, which I'm going to purchase at the store. But moving on from that, so we're gonna unbox this. Um, I'm gonna try to bring it from the top. I don't think I can cut it from the side. So we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so I'm a little bit taller than the camera at the moment, but we're going to unbox this top right here. I tried to cut this before, it did not work out. Let's see. There's a top right there. Where's the other piece? Ah, okay, so it does come out from the side. Okay. I do not try to cut it out or anything. Hmm. Ow. There's a lot. I'm so excited. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I'm going to take this out piece by piece and kind of just explain what I'm seeing at the first initial. Uh, they have like this cute little top piece and uh, it says frozen on it and it has a lot of foam around it to keep it all good. Alright, so I'm going to grab this first and see what's in here. Initially, I am seeing it's a little box. I'm trying to make sure it didn't fall off. That says frozen right here. And let's see what's inside. Right. So initially they have the instruction manual right here that has the information for frozen. We're gonna look at that later on. It's just a little manual for the Sonic Mini. And let's see, they 
have a respirator mask for you. So that's really sweet. Um, a few other pieces. This has to be, this is the power cord. This is to help you scrape off the build plate. A lot of people use it for other printers as well, not just resin printers. And it helps you get the actual print off the print bed. It's good to have these for any type of printer. So if you have a printer, I recommend at least investing in one of these. Oh, cool. They gave me a flash drive for me to plug into the printer. That's great. Um, this is really good whenever you do your models and you just want to put it on. I usually don't do a lot of the Wi-Fi printing, mainly because if something happens with the internet or whatever, I don't want it to be able to affect the printer. So I always put mine on a actual flash drive to put into my printer so I know everything is good and no interruptions. Uh, I don't know what these little pieces are, but I'll look to see. I'm pretty sure they go somewhere on the printer. I was also given some gloves, which is great. There's this yellow piece and a little spatula. Oh, this is a little tube. This is to probably put in the resin into the printer and kind of just load it in. So there, and a little spatula, I believe, for it as well. And then this is the actual plate, I believe, for the printer. So we'll look more into that as we go. All right, so now we're gonna actually take out the printer, which I might need to employ my dad to help me with that. Uh, we'll see. One eternity later. Here we got, we got it. Okay, okay, so I did open it up from the side. Thank goodness. Goodness, I got this. I'm so smart, I'm so, so smart. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try to slide this baby out. Slide. I know some of you are probably like, why do you do it this way? It's fine. As long as we get it out and it slid out of the actual piece. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ho. We got it out. Wow. Yeah. We did it. Okay. Be right back. I'm just going to make sure I didn't mess it up in the process. Guys, welcome back. So we're going to take this out of the wrapping. Oh, oh I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Whew. I'm gonna tell you guys the specs once I get this out and have my little freak out section and then uh, we're going to like go into the deeper details of what this cute little printer can do for you guys. So especially if you're a beginner and you're just now entering the 3D printing world and you wanna try your hand at resin printing. so shook I don't even want to really touch it so I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can also see the LCD monitor hi right, guys so just to start you off about this printer first thing it is a beginner friendly as well as a low-cost printer that is retailing at $199 and it will be released on February on frozen's website for you to purchase because this printer is a small printer, it is also fast and the resin can cure within 1.5 seconds of finishing your print. The printer has a built para LED matrix which allows you to print uniformly as well as sharp details on your little prints. So specifically if you're thinking of doing figurines or something for D&D, this is a perfect printer if you're looking to print smaller objects like little tiny accessories or just little to medium-ish sized projects. I'm pretty sure you could do a lot of figurines on that which we're going to be testing that out in the future as well as a few other 
other things. Because this printer is really cost effective, you're able to try out resin printing before even investing into a larger printer if it's your thing. Now, there are different types of printers out there, not just resin printing, but if you're just curious about it, then I definitely recommend this printer for you because you're not spending a whole lot, but you're also getting something that's still high quality and will still work and you won't have to replace the parts over and over again. Plus, this company is also always upgrading their printers and coming up with different versions. So you always have like a variety and multiple different options to try out their printers. Now these printers do come with a warranty and is always pre-calibrated before sending off. So if you do not know how to calibrate it, you can also look up a YouTube video, but it is pre-calibrated for you and ready to go out of the box as soon as you receive it. Going into the hardware specs, you're looking at the printer being the size of a 25 by 25 by 33, as well as a build volume of 12 by 6.8 by 13. So like I said, you're not getting huge prints, but you're getting out prints to start you off on the process of learning how to use a 3D printer. If you're curious about the printing speed, it's about 50 millimeters per hour with the layer thickness of point one to point thirty millimeters i keep forgetting that but point one to point zero point zero one to zero point thirty millimeters per second for the layer thickness all right guys so that's about it for our frozen 3d unboxing review thank you guys so much for watching thank you frozen 3d for sending this to me i'll be coming back with another video on this printer because we're going to be comparing and contrasting the different prints that i've done on this printer next week i'm going to go into details how smooth the prints are how big i am able to do them as well as just to show a compare and contrast between this printer and my other printer as well so if you guys like this please follow if you're ready to see it next week give this a thumb up and just give it a little like too and comment down below what you think i should print on this printer first thank you guys so much thank you frozen for sponsoring this video i'm so excited to work with you guys and that's about it. anyways thank you guys so much i love you as always and i'll see you again soon